We're in here. Welcome back. Alright. Guess the only way we can probably get up there. Hmm. I feel like we're missing something. I think we have to go through here or something. It's weird. And I don't know why. What's up here? Oh. There's more of those death blocks. That's what's making the axe up. So what happened last time, you beat two opponents from that damn king. Queen, kings, queen's blood. Just a rip off the king. Be the one to grapple. Awesome. Let's see what we got here. That'll be mine. Got cleansing, we got fire, ice. Just the usual ones that we got. Okay. Much I can do. We're gonna rest. I need to save. That's right. I didn't save. It would be pretty smart to save. What is... Well, let's check see what's down here. Ah! Elixar! This will help. It's actually, you can't buy any either. I don't know why. Oh, I hate rock climbing. In games, really. It's fun to do in real life, but 
I always make it so weird in the games. Nothing really here. It's all these keys. I don't trust this. Because he said he smelled perfume. Excuse me? I'm suspicious? Or the robed guy? Who? The smell. Cloud. It's them. Shit. Oh, boo! Aren't you a clever little puppy? Sniffing out the truth. Okay, where is he? Think we just tell you? We're not your average criminals, kid. Don't know who you we're are. The world's greatest double act. Ellie, the elusive. Bury the breath. that revive. Let's go. One more 
what I needed. There you go. That's the way to do it. Mighty fine killer. Give us the guy or you're next. Ah oh, shit. Now what? Now? Now nothing. Dog or no dog, they're never gonna be able to find that dude without us. Hear that? Give us the money or we're gonna... Tied him up. What? Old buddy of yours? Barry, look. The kid's eyes. He's a soldier. No wonder he wiped the floor with that monster. But time ain't on his side. Even the strongest ones don't stay strong for long. Sooner or later, he'll wind up like all the rest. Another mumbling hooded freak. Stay a while! Sure, you got lots to catch up on! Suck it, losers! Let him go. We got our man. Let's take him back to Sheeran. Oh, boy. Glad to see our man still alive. <laughs> and see for a few scrapes, none the worse for the wear. <sighs> Is it true that soldiers' cells degrade? Uh, believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. But Shinra keeps a tight lid on everything soldier related. Only doctors with access to those secrets are the company's own. I certainly don't qualify. If anyone here was going to have answers, it'd be you, son. Been feeling under the weather? Not really. The procedure you boys underwent was cutting edge. So much so, I doubt anyone in the company knew what the long-term effects might be. The more information we have, the better. <laughs> so, uh, change your mind about that blood sample? No. <laughs> well, one of these days, I'll win you over. <laughs> Alright, so we got that done. So basically, it didn't... 
I don't know. Did it exactly help? I don't think it did. Nah, it did nothing. I have a feeling it didn't. My guess is this whole area. Come on. Come on. Okay. This whole area right here is literally... You know, they probably got Nibelheim here. That's where we can see Vincent. And then probably a little bit closer there. Somewhere. And I, I think... And then we also got, like, Minaki's village. What was this village called? Boy, I can't believe I forgot that. But I think we'll go to the golden... Gold, the gold saucer, too. Boy, this sucks. I was hoping for something. Looks like... Because what was weird, I, I think... I, I think this is like the golden saucer right here. I don't know. What, I don't know what this is. <sighs> I don't want to, because I want to get the missions done. But we're gonna have to. Four years. Not a day goes by, I don't think. Yeah, that's got to be the golden saucer. Great. Don't have a choice but to go up there. Ready. Let's get a move on. All right, let's go. Can we do the best we can? This will take us all the way to the saucer. Now, I wanted to get this done, get everything else done around the coral, you know, Del Sol. So before we go to the Golden Saucer, but the Golden Saucer is a wonderful place. That's also where we meet uh, Kate Sith. He's a cat that has like this big, huge Moogle that he's, that he's on top. Kate Sith is a cat. You know, he's being controlled by Reeve, which, which doesn't get explained until later on in the game. But it doesn't exactly explain it in the way that we wanted it. It's just kind of like, okay, okay, now we get it, but why? Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? Yeah, and Baird's gonna blow up. This about her? About Marlene? Hmm. Ah, oh, boy, Tifa. <sighs> Corel wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. That is cool. Because originally he just like had an attitude and he just blow on it. And it's literally how it was. It's just what you want to do what I don't want to talk about. And you're just thinking to yourself like Okay. I guess he'll tell us eventually. We were happy. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> Great. So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. 
We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dan. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. Yep. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? exploded y'all saw the aftermath and then Shinra came rolling into town burned everything innocent people in their homes was that Scarlet? it was wasn't it? waiting. Now, this is actually really cool. In the original, you had to find out the story from him by going underground underneath the uh, Golden Saucer because that's where the, the other part of the villagers are. Now, th this is the best character development and the best path. Instead of just him blowing up, getting angry for no reason. Like, he's got a calm head. This is the Barret that we've all wanted. This is the Barret that we all wanted to love the most. Because we, we still loved him. We still loved him as a badass in the original. But this is the perfect one. Because Barret, we all thought, that how could a leader be just like a meathead with... No understanding of why he's saving the planet or he's just blowing things up. He had a plan. He knew what he was doing. He knew everything that would to save the world. This Barrett was perfect. And now him telling us a story. This will bring tears even to my eyes right now. Of him telling us about what happened to, to his hometown. Now, 
forgive me. <laughs> I probably wasn't the only one, but I always thought that Marlene was his actual daughter. I didn't know it was Dine's daughter, and that he became the godfather to Marlene. I didn't know that it, until Team Four, Team Four Star explained it and everything, and I didn't understand it at the time, so I looked it up, and I'm like, shit, boy, I've been looking at this all wrong, <laughs> but, but I love who plays, I don't know who played Dying, but great job, you know, like, he, that looks like it's just like the Dying that we've, we thought of in the original game, I know it sounds, sounds like, like I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna cry, but it's just, it's just how I'm listening to Barrett's story really make me understood him more as a character than I did in the game. And this is this is wonderful. This is like any any other Final Fantasy VII fan would have only hoped for. A true Final Fantasy VII fan. I know there's others out there that they don't like how Final Fantasy VII has become, you know, for the remake and rebirth. But you guys gotta understand that the ones that wanted to that loved Final Fantasy VII was hoping for more. And this helped out with the plot holes. Yeah, it's adding stuff that shouldn't be there. But I think it's because this is a new timeline. This is a new era. To where maybe we might actually save them. Remember, they, they all died in the original, in the end. Everyone died. But in Advent Children, it showed them in a new timeline. That, that wasn't the, the original timeline. It's called you got to pay attention to the little details that the di directors, the creators, the ones that made Final Fantasy VII. Really, they really get you good. They really get you to think about it really, really specifically. And it drives me insane. Just have to rewatch it or replay it or re understand and go, oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Believe me, it's, it's no joke. It's it's funny, yes, when you think about it right now. After you, after after you learned it yourself, and then you start thinking about going, yeah, okay, okay, I got it. But let's go see Golden Saucer. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen. I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. <laughs> I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The gold saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right. Wouldn't hurt for some R and R, Barrett. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. of progress. Oh what? my god, the tune. Oh. Oh god, it's a haunted place. <laughs> and hello to you too. This is incredible! Oh, I'm sorry, this is beautiful, guys. I wanted to see something so bad, but it's just... Oh my god. Oh! The actual coming of the team to the Golden Saucer. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on! Shall we? Let's.
<laughs> yep. Let's see if there's anything around here. I can't use my sword, guys. Huh. Oh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, sweet, I got an orb of healing. All right, let's see. Let me go back to that. So if I go like this. I knew it, guys. I knew that had to be, that knew it had to be Golden Saucer. So my estimation is correct. Means we have to do Johnny's mission. We have to finish up Johnny's mission by finding another one of these in order to finish mission. And then we can finish the other missions. God damn, they really, really messed me up good. Ah. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Let's see, who is it? We'll give it to her. Then we'll get it to level up. Wait, do I have that item? Do I have that material? Let's see, where is it? Aha! Elemental. Okay, no, that's not it. Alright. We're just gonna get... Can I have her have that for a while? There we go. This will help out. By getting this to level up to Kuraga, just with the others. Okay. <clears throat> I don't see anything else here. Ooh. Ooh. You guys see that? I forgot what those are called. The little cookie things. Oh. I wonder how they set it up to where... Which way do you go to? You go to, like, the Haunted Mansion? Everything. Oh, well, there's the helicopters I've been flying around. You guys, it cares. What else I mean? Ooh, kick heads, hockey. I'm not gonna promote anything. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, I hate him so much with the passion. He's a ooh. Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. <laughs> That was another thing about from this one. I like how Rufus Chandra. He didn't care for his uncle. Cloud. Not really the much. Others are waiting. All right. So. Are you ready for a oh, really? Oh, I thought it was one of those little bite things or whatever the heck it was. They really. Welcome to the You'll find the main entrance just up ahead. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Interesting. I gonna see Hello everyone let's get this party started Hey guys let's take this Look at 
Sailor Moon reference. Come on! <laughs> well, at least I'm not doing any dance moves. <laughs> Thank you! His name was it like Don King or something? Oh my god, they really made him really. Oh god, no, please. Please, no. No, 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 no. God damn it. There he is. Our challenger for the evening. Why? Why can't you just leave me alone? Welcome to our gilded paradise. The gold saucer. Dio, our director. Dio. And you, sir, are... Cloud. Well, Cloud, shall we do? Oh no! Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? What am I doing? You can do this, Cloud. Oh, you serious? left and right. Ah! Too slow. What didn't even let me? Oh, am I using the wrong one? Oh my god. What am I? Okay, let's do this. I need to practice that. No! Oh my god, this is difficult than I thought. I'm left. Oh, left. 
Está mal. Like, I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I'm doing the button. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Okay, so it's the at ATP, okay. No. That's star, that's a... Uh... Oh my god, guys, this is really irritating. All right. Way to the left. Let's do breakfast. Ah! So it's all about timing, isn't it? Or is it not? What is it? Right. Let me try to learn how to dodge. than I thought. I never thought they would make this difficult. Okay. Okay, let's see. I need to understand how this works. I'm not gonna win.
See, it didn't let me do it that time. Oh no, it was left. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I didn't think they would make that so tough. That's good we've done, pal. Well fucked, young man. I don't, don't smack us, please don't. Give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! Why do I have the most dumbest luck? Well, thanks. A small token of my thanks. <sighs> what is One that? Golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Well, for that, we're going to end it there. That was very, very interesting. Actually, you no, know, that was amazing, but the whole little fighting concept right there, that was hard. I didn't think I was going to really win, but I got lucky. Like I said, why do I get the dumbest luck? Not knowing how to do it in the training thing, then I go and do it and I win. Makes no sense. But I hope you enjoy that, because I have. If you, well, yeah, if you video enjoyed it, push the like button. If you want more, subscribe, guys. Come on. You're going to miss out on a lot of good stuff. So, until next time, guys, run out.